Brother David, um, with some of the girls, we were just talking about ego, and um, we wanted you to tell us a bit about it. Um, how should we deal with it? Well, uh, the question, who am I, uh, that is an ancient question, and uh, human beings have asked that for thousands of years, who am I? And we have to ask it again in our time. And <clears throat> there is a difference between saying I and I myself. Sometimes you say, I do this, I'm going to do it, and sometimes say, I myself am going to do this. And when there is a difference, it's always important to see what is the difference. And <clears throat> so you say, I myself, when you really want to emphasize that it's your whole person that is doing this. Uh, so you're adding to this I, you're adding the self. Now, what is this, this self? That is the great question. Uh, when we want to say, who am I myself? I have to ask, what do I mean by self? And there we can make a little experiment. We can go into ourselves, that is a poetic expression, but you all understand what I mean when I say, we go into ourselves uh, as if we were stepping back and we look at ourselves. So I can look at myself sitting here talking and you can look at yourself. You look at yourself, you observe yourself. So there is something within us that can observe us as if there were two. You know? uh, and if you go further and further back, you come to the observer whom nobody else can observe. Just, and that's you, you, that's yourself. The self is the observer that nobody can observe within yourself. You, you know where that is, we, we all know. Myself, I know myself. And that self is one. You can't distinguish that observer from any other observer. Uh, that is yourself, and we all share that self. There is only one self. And different traditions call it by different names. Uh, in the Christian tradition it is called it Christ reality within us, the Christ within us. St. Paul says, I live, yet not I, Christ lives in me. And Paul says that, you says that, I say that, with one and the same self. The Christ reality that lives in us. The Buddhists call it Buddha nature. All have Buddha nature. And not only humans, dogs have Buddha nature, and cats have Buddha nature, and plants have Buddha nature, just as there is the cosmic Christ that is in plants and animals. And the, uh, the Hindus call it Atman. 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 Atman means also the breath, it's, the, it's, a, it's our life. It's our self. Now, the self, when I say I myself, I mean that self, but as I. And if you say I myself, you mean that same one self, there is only one self, as you. And each one of us can say I myself, and it's one self, and innumerable eyes. Uh, the eye is in space and time. It's always in space and time. The self is not in space and time, it's, it's one. It's in beyond space and time. In space and time we are very, very different. Uh, and this self is so full, is so great, is so uh, inexhaustible that it has to express itself again and again and again in every eye that is about, just for the joy and for the fullness of life. And uh, my eye is quite unique, and your eye is absolutely unique. Uh, the fingerprints are different, even our fingerprints are different, but everything else is different. Your ancestry, your, uh, uh, the time when you were born, uh, 
the circumstances in which you were born, the country where you were born, that all determines your eye. Your eye is very determined. And now it's a way of looking what is this eye. You can look at it as a, a character in a play, in the great world theater. The self plays, and the self plays all these many different characters. Like uh, a mother that plays for her children, and she makes a puppet show, and she plays this, and prince plays the prince, and then she plays the dragon, and then the prince fights with the dragon, but it's one and the same mother that is performing that for her children. So you can think of the great world theater in which all these different roles, these different eyes, are all the self, and when the play is over, the self takes the puppet off, puts it in the box, and the, my time is out. So my time starts, my, uh, my I, starts when I'm born and ends when I die. And that has no effect on I myself, because the self is beyond time and space. Uh, but there is a great danger, because this puppet, this little, uh, this little I, <coughs> is something different from all the other eyes. And so it looks at all these many other puppets that are around in this theater, and all of a sudden it thinks, it forgets that it is the self, and it thinks it is the prince, or the princess, or the dragon, or the magician, or whatever little puppet, whatever role it plays. It suddenly, by mistake, identifies with this role. And, and in that moment, I am like an actor who plays, say, Hamlet, and in the middle of the play forgets that he is an actor and thinks he's Hamlet. And at that moment, he's crazy. And so we are, every so often, 50 times a day, we are crazy. We just think we are the role that we play. No, I myself play this role and I forget it. And the moment I forget it, my eye turns into the ego. And the ego now uh, is, is afraid. It sees all these others around, you see. Uh, and, and so it's afraid, oh, they are going to, to hurt me. There are so many. I am so little in comparison to all these millions and millions that are around. So first thing is fear. And out of fear, it becomes aggressive. Yeah. I have to defend myself against all these others. And I must get up a little higher than the others, so it steps on the others so that I'm a little higher. And I'm not going to share, I'm greedy, I want to have more and more and more, maybe there isn't enough to, to go around. And so the ego shrivels up into this little puppet that it is, and, uh, and the, for loses the self, forgets the self, it never loses it, it is itself. So the, uh, what the ego needs to do is to remember, I am myself, I'm not this, this little role, I'm just playing this little role, and I want to play it well. That means I want to really lovingly interact with everybody else that is playing here, to make it a real good theater, and not just killing one another. Uh, we want to make a, a dance and make a good show out of this. And if we rem so this is the trick for the ego to stop, because otherwise it will never look. Look, realize I am myself, and then go and act out of I myself, not out of this little ego, that little fearful little puppet. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you have this big picture, of the self that is one for all of us. The I, that is a role that the self plays, but needs, needs to be taken very seriously, plays something very seriously, but still very playful, uh, played on this, sea, on this stage of the world, and not forget that I'm only playing, uh, not slip into this little e ego trip. But remember, I myself. So if you stop every so often in the course of the day and just say to yourself, 
I myself, and remember what that means, then it's a good chance that you will not get stuck in the ego.